on today's According to Hoffman. Hi, Mark here with According to Hoffman. Uh, one thing that I wanted to do with these videos was kind of revisit some old columns that I wrote. And I figure since Easter's a day or two away that uh, I'll revisit the column I wrote last year about Easter. Well, I think it was last year. It, so that's, that's the problem with Easter. I never know when it's going to happen. I mean, last Easter could have been seven months ago for all I know. But uh, anyway, it's a shame that of the two Christian holidays, one being Christmas, one being Easter, uh, Easter isn't widely as popular as it should be. As a kid, when you compare Easter and Christmas, they're a lot alike. I mean, uh, a mythical being, one being Santa Claus, the other being the Easter Bunny, they both break into your house, okay? They both give you, uh, you know, presents and or candy. Uh, there's a church service or two involved, and there's a dinner involved as well. But at least with Easter, I mean, there's a scavenger hunt, so that's something. Now, there's many reasons for the uh, unpopularity of Easter, and I go through all that in my column, but uh, the main culprit uh, I figured out was the Easter Bunny himself. Um, you can start with some of the creepy vintage Easter Bunny costumes online. So, I mean, there's that, and there's also the fact that Easter bunnies do not talk, which is uh, a very creepy point <laughs> to bring up, other than the fact that some of these, the, especially the older Easter bunnies, uh, look very disturbing. Um, but no wonder kids are freaking out when you put them on Easter bunny's lap. I mean, you're, you're, you're planting them on this huge, creepy-looking mute rabbit, that just sits there and stares at them. I mean, at least with Santa Claus, uh, he can start off with like a little chit chat. Yeah, <laughs> get to know him a little bit better if you're kind of, you know. but um, in hindsight, uh, I say they really should make the Easter Bunny a duck. We need an Easter duck, okay? I mean, I'm sure even back in the day, we would probably have like creepy Easter duck photos, but uh, the thing about a duck is at least a duck's voice you know, can, is less creepy than no voice at all coming from a, a large mythical animal. Um, so, I mean, yeah, you look at the duck, like Donald Duck, Daffy Duck, um, the Aflac Duck, Howard the Duck. I mean, there's so many ducks out there that have very, uh, I wouldn't say normal sounding voices, but like comforting voices or very humorous voices, let's put it that way, funny voices. And um, so... So there's that, but I mean, let, let's be real, that's never gonna happen. Traditions are traditions, and it's gonna stay that way. Uh, but I think what you should do is just avoid the bunny, avoid the ducks, and just, you know, go to church. Uh, it's good for your soul, and uh, you get to learn something about Easter, especially like the complicated math and astrology that goes into determining which Sunday Easter is actually gonna fall on. So that's my column. Uh, if you want to check out the whole column uh, that appeared last year, that ran last year, uh, I'll put a description in the link. And uh, uh, from According to Hoffman, Happy Easter.